Hey everybody, it's John here again, and this is the Philistruder. This is a Kickstarter backer project. Got in the mail a few weeks ago, just had time to start working on it. And what you are looking at is a machine that makes filament for 3D printers. Got it all done, ready. Up. It's up here because when the filament cools off, it needs a place to collect, and right now I don't have a filament spooler. So right now it's just going over this brass tubing and over this stainless steel. And by the time it falls down to the floor, there should be a solid piece of filament. And it can be kind of hard to see here, but it is very, very clear. Crystal clear, actually. Here's some of it I've managed to spool up. Not very pretty. Also have a bunch of other stuff in here. Same stuff. And from what I understand, the first several hours, several pounds, are filled with chips and not suitable for 3D printing at all. So, as you see there is a, two focuses, a 1.75 millimeter nozzle. It's being pushed through a hot end. There's a heater in there and a thermistor. I mean, it's relatively warm to the touch. It doesn't hurt too much. You can touch it without burning yourself. Here we have the custom filament extruder and the pellets. These are PLA pellet, pellets. And the reason this process is so good is because I ordered five pounds of filament, excuse me, of pellets. And this is uh, four pounds of filament for seven dollars versus something like this when full is about a hundred and eight dollars for five pounds so it's huge savings if you can get it working it's going to be a huge savings and ultimately the goal would be to recycle old prints and put them back into use by making them film it again so let's go step by step back here we have the motor it's driven by a socket attached to the drive. It's basically an auger. Some piping, a thrust bearing, connected to the hopper. And inside here, it is cut out so that the pipe is open and the pellets can fall through into the auger. And then it goes down the auger into the heated element and then out the nozzle. Right now, it's actually doing pretty well. Uh, let's take a look see how close we can get at the filament. It's not gonna focus. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, you can't see anything in there yet, but uh, as I look at it outside of the camera, I do not see any chips or anything. It actually looks pretty good. So yeah, uh, I have to push this filament for a few more hours until I'm sure it's not filled with contaminants anymore. So right now it's all jerry-rigged up so that I don't have to build a filament spooler yet. So if you're into this kind of stuff, there's another Kickstarter campaign online. It's a different type of filament extruder, but uh, it looks like a good solution considering I'm considering mounting this completely vertical and doing exactly what they're doing with that new one. So this one seems like kind of an incomplete kit and the other one seems a little bit more thoughtful. So consider yourself a filament extruder. Save yourself some money.